Hello, and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. I think we're, uh, what part are we on? I think we're on part four. Sorry, I lose track every time. Oh. Okay, I don't think this was here when we went into this room the first time. Anyway, um, welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. My name's Travis, and <laughs> sorry for that long introduction. But we're moving right along into the study. We just encountered our first, uh, second, third. Yeah, we just encountered our first actual situation of danger. The monster broke through the door, came into the room I was in, and tried to ask me on a date. Wouldn't that be weird if that was the premise of the monster showing up? As he was just some, some, uh, <laughs> he was just some weirdo who like had a crush on you, and you were just trying to run away from him. It'd be really weird. But I could understand why we're running from him. He's hideous. But we don't want to be mean, so we're not going to say it to his face. We'll just whisper it behind his back. Huh? Whisper it behind his back. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about, an underga uh, underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. The texture was smooth and jagged? Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstad, investigating one of the anti antiquated trails, when I finally found the cavern. I went inside, and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetched the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but unfortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal, black with leaves of cinder. The ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance as I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. So it seems that this orb draws on this guardian, this, this, this force that tails whoever has the orb across vast distances, albeit somewhat slowly, and... Oh, I didn't, exact, I didn't expect that to work. Um, and tries to kill them. See if there's anything around here first. No. And seeing as Daniel had, or has, or had has, has had the orb, Perhaps that was the same shadow trying to kill him. Follow him. Render him... Oh wait, yeah, it is trying to kill him. Let's see what you have to offer. Ugh. 
That's just disgusting. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Ew, you fucking weirdo. Come on, man. Oh, Fido, I'm sorry, buddy. Canis Lupus Familiaris, 1658, April 12th. Wait, isn't this game taking place in 1800? Something like that, like 1819. Anyway. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response. An endogenous response. You get it? <laughs> you get that one, bro? Causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. That's an odd thing to say. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. I mean, if terror is what gives you this stuff that you need, why are you killing things like... That's gross, man. Come on. And you kill the dog for no reason. That makes me so angry. That makes me so damn angry. Makes me so mad that I had to smash a shovel against the table several times over to prove my point. Ah! Skulls! I don't have one of those. Something underneath this? Just a, just a desk pad? Huh. Medieval desk pad. There's nothing really in here. Kind of a waste of time. Oh! Nope. There's something in here. 1658, January 9. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the sub subject. But I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in, a, in, in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they prove less of a hassle to acquire. That's still going, huh? Oh man, that was really close. I didn't. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. It's disgusting. You know, I found it one or one or two of these before. I don't know why I never touched it. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Entered a gate? Um. Ooh, more oil. I could definitely use some more of that, to be honest. Gained just enough for me to be comfortable. A little bit of a headache, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's fair. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read, up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Kernady steam set functions, four phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Interesting. I was going to light that candle, but I'm not going to be here very long, I don't think. <clears throat> A chest with the letter Z on it. I wonder if that's supposed to mean something. Are those urns? Have I been just like... 
being the most disrespectful ass I can possibly have been. <laughs> Just breaking urns. Ah, I see. Morning lumberjacks, they're just here to do a little bit of work on the grounds. Did I gain anything by coming in here? Oh yeah, I got the rod, okay. It's not even late, it's not even early, and I'm still a little bit tired. Okay, where do we go next? Been in there, been in here. And I think we still have burning rooms down here. Ooh, a chest! Didn't even see that the first time through. Ah, uh, you are so beautiful. Look at you. You're gorgeous. This door was open, I remember, but I guess Cosmic Forces decided to close it in my face. Headed down into the storage and whatever lies beyond. Which shouldn't be too much. Hopefully. I don't want there to be very much down here. Let's just hope that it's a big, empty room full of nothingness. Wow, this is not what I had wanted. Uh, 19 tinderboxes? Yeah, I can spare to use a few. Right there too. That's perfect. See, everything works out in the end. You gotta have a little bit of hope, a little bit of faith, faith in what you're doing. Everything will be fine. See again, another one. I just replenished everything that I just spent, and two more. Oh my goodness! Look at that. I'm rich. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. Oh yeah, that's a meme, I forgot. just about to go out and see if he was still there. I did not appreciate that. Not one bit. I can actually say for certainty that that was an awful experience for me. Not the most frightening, but definitely tense. Um, oh, that's so nice. It's so bright in here now. Oh, man, I'm using up oil like nobody's business. I think, uh, I think I'll wait on going down into here for just a minute. You know. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone, I swear. I just want to go home. No, get away from me. Leave me alone. Wasn't that a... Oh, no. I could have sworn that that was um, the same voice that we heard earlier. The, no, get away from me. <laughs> Not quite that casual, but I think you get what I'm saying. Anyway, um, yeah, that's very peculiar. I do not like that. I hate that so much. If there's anything in games that makes me tense, it's the sound of a woman in pain and screaming and crying and, you know, the sounds of a disgusting, disfigured monster coming at me from the darkness. Anyway, I think I'm running a little bit short on time. Um, things are just about to get really good, I feel, if they aren't already. So, um...
yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, then please leave them down in the comment box below, whether it be suggestions, feedback, criticism, anything like that. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content from me, then please, please subscribe to the channel. It'll help me get the content out to you in a timely manner. And you can also see it show up in your feeds, I hope. Uh, because I think that's what subscriptions do. Trust me, I'm not, a very, I'm, not, I'm not quite an expert on YouTube yet. But I think that's how they work. Um, so yeah, if you feel like supporting and you want to see more content, then the best thing you can do is subscribe and leave me a comment. Because I will read them. I'll take your criticism and feedback into consideration for the rest of my videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the view. And come, you know, keep stick with me. It's gonna get more interesting. I promise. I promise you. This isn't the. This isn't the peak. Anyway, thanks for watching again so much, and take care. I'll see you in the next video.